Hey, Christy Mattoon here from Mind Rewire. I am so glad you're here with me as always. Um, excuse, excuse the mess. I've actually been out working in the garden and I'm trying to beat a rainstorm, but somebody just now called me and asked me this question. So I wanted to get back to you really super fast. Um, actually, I wanted to get on here really super fast and talk about this while it was fresh in my mind. Um, and what she asked me, this is an old friend of mine, what she asked me was about um, how people are always saying, or how she's hearing this a lot lately, that what you focus on is where your energy goes. And I was like, yep. And she goes, okay, I get that. What you focus on is where your energy goes. She goes, but I focus all the time on really good stuff. And I was like, I get that. I know you do. And she goes, then why don't I have any energy? She goes, I feel horrible. I always feel horrible. And I was like, oh. So... I wanted to try and explain this so you could understand what happens. When you focus on something, when you put your focus towards something good, you get a really good burst of chemicals in your system. It's like a little booster shot of, mm, I feel great, right? When you focus on something negative, something that's happened or something that's happened in the past and you keep focusing into it, you get a negative shot, right? Fight and flight, stress, um, call it whatever you want it. You get a little booster shot of cortisol and possibly, possibly some adrenaline, neuroepinephrine. There's some other hormones and chemicals that come into play there. But you get this negative booster shot. When you think about something that really makes you feel good, something that you're like focusing into this really cool thing, maybe it's something you're trying to manifest. You get this good bumper shot of oxytocin, serotonin, maybe some dopamine and you're expecting something great to happen. And then all of a sudden it just dwindles and it fades out and it fizzles. And she's like, that's what's happening to me. She goes, I don't understand it. I keep focusing on the good stuff, but it never sticks around. And I said, well, let me explain why this works, how this works. Think about your subconscious mind for a second, right? It's the storage locker of all the stuff that's happened in, the, in, the, in your life, right? The theoretical subconscious mind. In all of that storage, if there's negative stuff happening, if there's pain, if there's issues, if there's, you know, whatever, thoughts, beliefs, and memories, right, are the things that we always talk about. If any of those are negative and you're actually, those are attached to negative chemical and hormone attachments, your brain will give you the information, pictures, and ideas. Your body gives you the chemical signal. Now, if I'm trying to change something inside my brain and I'm trying to think about it differently and I keep thinking about this positive thing and thinking about this positive thing, over time, if you can continue in that track, you'll actually change the subconscious mind. You'll change that idea. But it takes a lot of effort. It takes a lot of time. If your body is giving you negative chemicals, it will put you in contention in your own system. My brain's thinking it one way. My body's giving me negative chemicals. I'm trying to be positive. I've got negative chemical situation going on and I am drained. It will wipe you out. Cortisol will drain you. I swear at this point, I really believe that, that blocks, the idea of blocks, I'm stuck. Um, what else do I hear people say? Any of those kind of things, you've got a block in your system. That block is cortisol, adrenaline, neuroepinephrine, all the negative hormones and chemicals. They've stayed in your system for too long and they've given you a reason to believe that you can't do something, that you can't stay on track with something, that you can't get somewhere in your life. The block is the negative chemicals. It's not like there's a real, and it feels like that, right? It feels like there's something kind of wedged in there. But if we take that idea and we give you a good chemical feeling and we get you into flow state, I was just talking to another person um, not too long ago, actually. He's like, I just want flow state. How do you get that into my subconscious mind? Can I be in a flow state all the time? And he's like, well, yeah, I probably can't. And I'm like, why not? Why not? Why would you want to stay in any level of fight and flight? Why would you want to stay in any level of cortisol and adrenaline? Like who wants to be in that? You don't. It causes anxiety, depression, um, like you're self-sabotaging. And actually it is. Your mind, your subconscious mind is a great self-sabotager. Is that a word? Sabotager? right? Your subconscious thoughts actually disarm and dysregulate your whole system. If they're negative, they're not giving you a positive input chemically and hormonally. It will take you out. I'm telling you. So we train the system to feel different by giving you a different feeling. 
And it's back to, okay, think about that thing that you want. Think about the thing that you like. Think about the thing that gives you that different feeling. And you have to keep coming back to it. You can't let the negative stuff take over. You can also use the idea of a whole brain state. You can put yourself in a whole brain situation, in a whole brain posture, Google it. There's all kinds of information out there about it. Sit there thinking about the good feeling and then go beyond just thinking about it. Feel it, make it really rich inside your system. You want to feel that so deeply in there that all of a sudden your body just releases and let, lets go. When you're in that whole brain state, or it's even the idea of um, bilateral brain stimulation, EMDR uses that. I think um, Heart Math Institute uses some kind of a semblance of that. Crossinology uses like marching and the left, right, left, right idea. It opens up your brain pathways differently, okay? Think about something positive. Think about something wonderful. Think about something lovely and sit there in that pattern, in that position. And stay there long enough that you actually start to feel a shift. You will feel a difference inside your system pretty quickly. And then you got to keep hanging in there with it because in this moment, now what we're doing is actually growing a new neural pathway. People think, oh, I felt it, I've got it, I'm done. No, you're not. you got to grow it out. You took how many, how old are you? You took how many years to grow the negative place that you're in? And it's spun so deeply into your system that you get caught up in it every time you try and do something. It's going to take a few minutes to grow some new neural pathways, guys. And it doesn't take a horrible long time. You're going to be really pleasantly surprised but you have to continue in the thing that you want in order to get to the place you want to get to. Okay. Oh, I hope this helps. Um, I really felt bad when my friend called me just, just now because that whole idea about where you put your focus is where your energy goes. So if you're focusing on something good and your energy's going there, it's going to end up good, right? That's what she keeps going to unless you are in a high amount of stress and your subconscious mind is giving you the wrong information. So there is an unless to this. And it's, so it's very misleading. And in, in that instance, it's tough. So I hope that helps. I hope that makes sense. If you need help, please contact me and ask for more. Thank you.